Hello everyone and welcome back to Fortnite events. So how to move your village. Before anything you should know that the village, the most important items in the village is actually the village square which is this one and the second item the crafting bench because these is upgradable. All the other items cannot really be upgraded so it's a little bit easier to rebuild it. So the first thing we need to know if we actually destroy this one and move, is it gonna work or not? Is these NPCs gonna follow us in the new village or not? We are not sure yet. But in yeah, as you can see, I destroyed it. I destroyed the village square and I got every item I used in the village square. I, I made sure that my inventory is empty before doing this. And for some reason, the NPC is still working. The so as you can see guys, I am really near from this, the desert area and also like a little bit far from my location. I choose this location because as you can see, it looks good to be fair, especially this area looks good. So I think it will be a perfect build village. So what I'm gonna do ne next is building my village square here. And as you can see, once I build my village square, everything just back to normal. I will just give it this icon and I give, give it any color like this. Okay, I need to kill these animals. And literally, when I done this and I moved away my village square, for some reason, I have to... Oh my god. No! Okay, so literally, it asked me to upgrade my village from the zero again. Oh my god. This... So now, guys, I came back to my village area and they will try to build the square one more time hopefully oh so actually when i came back to my village to rebuild my square it back again to level 10 not to level zero as i did in the other uh direction i'm not sure like even the mbc the mbc stopped working but no 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 the mbc is actually here so they didn't really stop working so i'm gonna test it again but this time instead of moving my village square i will try to move everything else first and of course for this i need to make sure that i have empty inventory so i can get all the buildings and after moving everything i will try to come back to get my village square and see what will happen maybe this is the reason i'm not sure so i'm gonna put everything here going to here and start destroying these buildings so i'm gonna destroy the craft bench As you can see, once you destroy, it gives you all the material that's used inside back, so that's good. So as I told you guys, I will rebuild my village here and let's see what will happen. I will start, of course, with the crafting bench. So I'm gonna just put it here. Maybe I will also put a campfire at this location. So just like normal. And I will make sure to upgrade the crafting bench, but I cannot use it in rain, so I will play this a little bit. I will put everything else. But well, this is my new village. It's time to finally... I'm gonna build the oven. Yep. I need to build this one as well. I need to build finally this one. So now I have every item that was in my village in the new area. Now it's time to finally build the village square. And... Oh my god. It just till level 1. Even after all what I have done. It's literally still level 1. And for some reason... I still have the icon there, not here, so... Whoa! So after this test, guys, I can assure that you can literally move everything from this village to this area. But there's two things you cannot move. The most important thing is the village square. Literally, if you, if you move, you will have to start from the beginning. And also, all the NPCs will be staying there. So, in conclusion, you can build to village but you cannot move your own village because you will lose your progress in the upgrade bench but only on the upgrade bench everything else will be the same so the NPCs will coming back once you upgrade as you can see i already have this NPC here ura which just came to my village once i once i built this one so she came to me and asked me to be one of my villagers so i added her to my village and i can literally ask her to work or maybe explore with me. And as you can see, Ura is now with me. And they still have the other five. So this method is really good if you want to get more NPCs. I will make a video later on this. And also, you can literally upgrade this bench as normal. Just to make sure. Of course, you need to get these. I have a lot of them from the storage. So I can literally upgrade 
just like normal village and I can add more NPCs and doing multiple stuff.